I want to show you something on the Bernina 570 that most people don't realize they have. And once they realize that they have it, don't realize that this machine is one of the few brands that actually has this feature. We're talking about the temporary altered stitch memory. So I actually have a block from our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. We're using a lot of decorative stitches and we do talk about like manipulating the sizes, making them fit to the area we want them to, to stitch out in, and, and changing up the width, the length, and needle position. Even mirror imaging a stitch can be one of those functions that we can temporarily change up and the machine will remember what we have done. Let me give you an example and you can see why I get so excited about this. So a temporary altered memory also means that once the machine is turned off, that those settings will go back to the default setting. We do have a way to save those if that is something you want to do as well. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's just take a normal straight stitch and let's say today I need to be stitching it at a three millimeter long setting. So you can see that the numbers turn yellow which indicates that I've changed it off the off the default setting. But and I'm also going to go over to the zigzag and today we're also going to be stitching this at the widest nine millimeter wide and I've lengthened it out. So I'm totally making up these settings here but you're going to see what I'm talking about. Now, right now, on most other machines, when I go back to this straight stitch, it has defaulted back to its normal factory setting. But on a Bernina, it doesn't. And that means that if you are a mom or somebody who likes things just a certain way and you go and put something in a certain place, that when you get back to that room, it's still where you put it and the kids haven't moved it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. This is exactly what this means for your Bernina machine. So as I go back to the zigzag, look, the settings are still there. I can do this for every single stitch. I can just go right down this third stitch I might be using. Today we're using it a little longer, we're making it decorative and we're doing it like that. Now as I go back through all three stitches, it's exactly where I left it. Everything is remembered. We can do this, I mentioned with um, needle positions and then also things in the eye. So if I've mirror imaged it or made it extended, those features would also be remembered from as I go from stitch to stitch. Now I did mention that you can actually save these features. So let's say you always sew with the straight stitch with a three millimeter length and it's always in the far right needle position. When you touch the eye for information, you can save this. This is overriding the default setting of the machine. So every time you turn on the machine, this is the setting the machine starts with, not whatever factory technician thought it should be set at. So here's how you customize the machine for the way you sew. So on my machine, I have certain settings I have preference for. So when I sit down and I turn the machine on, it's all saved for me. But sometimes as I'm doing some of my Stitching Cosmos decorative stitches and I'm, I'm working with a stitch and I'm, I'm realizing I need it just a little bit more petite because of the size of area I'm stitching around. And then I'm over here with some of my quilting stitches. Maybe I'm doing a blanket stitch, but this time it needs to be a little bit bigger because I'm using a little thicker thread. But when I come back to the stitch that I had originally manipulated because I want to put it on another block that I just realized, look, it's right at that setting. I didn't need to put a sticky note on my machine with what I used. It is all there. And again, if I just want to save that, I can do that. So if for tomorrow, if I want it to be right where I left it, hit the save button and it will save it for you. And it's just as easy to unsave it by touching the little function with the floppy disk and the line going through it and that will deselect and notice it puts it back to the normal original setting for the stitch. So I hope you'll realize that this is an option for you. I know it's a, a name that does, it sounds very complex where you can actually, like the temporary altered stitch memory sounds quite complex, but it's actually quite easy to use and I know you'll appreciate it once you realize it is part of your machine. 
So if this has been helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, there's links below this YouTube video where you can check out the Stitching Cosmos online course and even watch 10 videos for free.